what is going on everybody welcome to your seventh or eighth i guess ionic tutorial i don't know i don't remember numbers that nicely so in this tutorial what we are gonna do is i'm gonna show you how we can retrieve the data from this endpoint right here which i just showed you in the last tutorial and pretty much just get news on our application the mobile application so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of this tabs layout probably would we'll try this out in some another application so i'm gonna bring back the ion content which we removed for the tabs layout and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a simple list now what this list would do is actually uh, it would just keep your items organized so for example you got a single news and uh, you know you just want image on the left and a title then a description then a link so if you just kind of start doing it manually then for an HTML page you might just complete that in a half an hour or so but for mobile devices you need to consider a lot of stuff like you know every mobile device has a different sort of screen then there's different dpi for font sizes and you know just the things start getting weird so to avoid all of that we'll make use of ionix inbuilt classes and angular's directives for our support now what we have for ionic is you can simply go ahead and create a simple list with a ul class list and you will and let me show you if i add li item one and save it li item two you see that it kind of looks like a list but it isn't actually one and trust me i have no idea why probably we are missing an item class here yes so you need a list with the ul and an item with li so you know you get the idea that this kind of looks like a mobile phone view only you know you can just track you know, just stretch the things on your mobile phone that rubber band sort of effect so actually you don't need ul and li at all you can just make use of any other tag the important thing is that you make use of these classes because these classes are important so for this application i'm not gonna make use of this ul and li i'm gonna make use of section and article you can make use of div as well it's up to you it's just that these section and articles sort of just give you a look for an HTML5 stuff so these are some dummy items now coming back to the work what we need to do is actually yeah so we need to edit this module as well so I'm gonna change the name as ng app from starter to let's just say news app and as you can see the things are crashing because and it's better to just name it app right here and a semicolon won't hurt much and an app here so i'm gonna leave that app dot run stuff down there because that's important to you know initialize your application this kind of looks you know just technical sort of stuff the comments also says that don't move this line unless you know what you are doing so it's better to just leave these this sort of code alone so the next thing we need to create a controller well I'm gonna just create a controller right here ng controller let's just say my news controller and let's just say this is news controller because my news controller looks like kiddish sound off so controller is news controller function then obviously we'll just pass in the good old friends the scope one and the http one and the http one is for making requests so what i'm gonna do is first of all let me just get rid of this thing right here so i'm gonna just close this as a single article let's just say this is my um, news right there and for http <coughs> sorry about that I'm gonna create this thing right there 
we should have a method of get then URL would be um, godam.com that stuff right there don't forget to prefix it with an HTTP alright now once we are done with this then function um, data let's just say console log data for now and probably just get this out console all right so I guess I have this no access allow I've not set this up so I'm just give me a sec I'm gonna do that on my PHP file All right, so I have made changes to my PHP script and I have allowed only local host. So let me just window.reload this or location.reload actually. All right. Okay, just give me a sec. Okay, so now I'm done, sort of. And one thing to note is that this this code right there this javascript code this method get would only work if you are requesting this from exact url of localhost and port number of 8100 so i have restricted access to this file by a javascript file for only port number 8100 for localhost i know it's gonna pain a bit so if you can then just change this port number if you have a different number then change this to 8100 or if you're running this 8100 only then there's no problem so if you are running this one then you'll see something like this once you load this so as you can see we get an object as a response so we have got response with data key right there inside the response and it contains all of our content so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, right there first of all let me just create a scope dot news as an array and I'm gonna say scope dot news is data dot what we had uh, let's just name is news data to avoid confusion news data dot data all right now as you can see we get a lot of data right here but this kinda is trimmed because of you know this some sort of styles are applied to this uh, this white space no wrap actually this this is responsible for one liner of this data so what I'm gonna do is probably inside index.html I'm gonna say ng repeat and what I'm gonna do is news article in news and I'm gonna say news article right here okay so looks much better but still we have got as a JSO in response so you know this kinda looks good but you still need to parse it a little bit to be able to you know just you know just take this application live for your users you don't want the end users to see a JSON response and then just automatically interpret like that so majority of the thing we have done in this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to parse the state a little bit so that it looks nicer so yeah that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching